Hello and welcome back to week two coverage of the NIWFA League season for 2021, which this week features games from the Championship and Division 1. Shortly we'll be heading to the Bluebell Stadium in Lisburn for the goals in the Division 1 match between Ballymacash Rangers ladies and Korean ladies. But before that, our opening game takes us to Parkway and Cumber, where Cumber Rack ladies took on recently promoted Belfast Celtic ladies. This was Celtic's first ever game in the Championship following their promotion, and all credit has to go to Cumber Rack ladies, who marked what was a special occasion for the Belfast side by presenting them with a club pennant ahead of the game. OK, niceties aside, let's see who came out on top in this one. Here's the match highlights. Yeah. 
So, Colin, what did you think of the game? Very enjoyable game. As a neutral, I really enjoyed the match. Uh, it was a close match. You know, from a playing perspective, I think uh, Belfast Celico have left and thought, you know what, we can cope at the championship level. I mean, that was their first game up. They've proven now they can go to other clubs, get results. So, they'll have left thinking, all right, you know, we're good in championship level and that'll really boost, boost their confidence moving forward. Definitely. And Leola McGurlane grabbing herself two goals. We all know strikers need to score goals for their confidence. So, yeah. She'll be more than happy with that. Well, Leola has a proven track record of scoring goals at different levels, and obviously now she's proved that she can also score them at championship level. So she'll be really, really encouraged by that as well. Um, I think the third goal in particular was fantastic. Fantastic slide through pass, yeah. you know, coming from Leah McAvoy. Absolutely found it, found it perfectly, and she just slotted the ball in the back of the net. It was a lovely work goal, and yeah, once again, it'll really give, you know, sort of Belfast Celica a lot of confidence in terms of that, that performance. Yeah. Uh, Cumber have lost quite a few players. Um, for various reasons, but their youth policy seems to be paying off for them now. Yeah, very much so. Uh, as you say, their Cumber have lost a few players this year, a few of the more experienced players that we've done to, to other clubs for, for other reasons. But they've been able to promote from within, and that's, that's really been really good to see. Some of the, the girls have been with the club you know, since they were young girls, and yeah. now they're coming up to first team level, so it's really, really good to see, and they'll be very encouraged by that. And Olivia Brown, 50th career goal. Yeah, to score 50 goals, you know, for any club, to be honest, is a, is a remarkable achievement. Even more so probably in the women's game, because obviously they play a lot less yeah. games than what the men do. So to achieve 50 uh, goals, you know, over a career at Ireland Club, fantastic. So well done, Olivia, on that one. Yeah, lovely memories for to cherish there, Very much for so. sure. Unfortunately, one downside from that, it was a bad injury to uh, Belfast Celtics vice-captain, Sir Lou McLaughlin. Unfortunately, broke a wrist the other night, and that's going to mean she's going to miss probably most of the season, to be honest. So I guess on behalf of everybody here at... Uh, NIWFA TV. We just wish Sarah Lou a speedy recovery and hopefully it won't be too long before you're back in the pitch again. Yes, Sarah Lou, all the best and we hope to see you playing again soon. All in all then, it was a great game with plenty of talking points, but what did the players make of it all? We caught up with the players from both sides after the game and here's what they had to say. Oh, we're absolutely buzzing. Um, I suppose we came in thinking well, it's a big step up and, um, you know, from going from Division 1 to Championship, but we, we showed our worth worth today. Um, I think we could have maybe got a few a few more goals out of it, but no, the girls all stepped up and they're brilliant. Yeah, disappointing result. We came into it with a strong squad. We knew we had a chance to um, compete in the game, but just luck of the match really. Like, you know, it fell to them. They had some brilliant players in their team, you know, really st strong squad coming up through the league. So um, it was a fantastic game to play in. Tough tackles, but, you know, it was a disappointing result. We were really looking for the win. It got a bit a very scrappy towards the end. Um, I think maybe it came down to a wee bit of fitness too. Um, we just needed to, to get the ball down and play, but no, we, we held out well, so we did. And taking from your own viewpoint, is only your second game for the senior side. How you find stepping up into this sort of level? It's really different, a lot more like physical, and I know it, the game's a lot f more fast paced, and you gotta get like you gotta keep focusing, and you can't give up at this at this level. <laughs> Our second game this week took us to the Blue Bell Stadium in Lisburn for the Division 1 game between Ballamacash Rangers ladies who took on the ladies of Coleraine. Ballamacash went into this one with a 100% record having won their opening two games while for Coleraine they were looking to build on a fine win last time out when they defeated Porter Down ladies. Let's see how this one turned out. Here's the goals from the match.
Cleveland. Um, yeah, it was tough. I don't think we started as quick as what we should have. Um, I think we dropped the game in the second half, but there was periods of play where we played a lot of one-twos and link-ups, what we do in the training. And I think we worked hard to get um, back behind the ball, to get goal side off the ball. So I think the work rate was very good. Uh, we had a few key players missing, not taking anything away from Bally McCash, who, who played really well tonight. I thought they got on the ball, used the ball well got players into space and, and they played well but I think it wasn't a 6-0 game um, I thought we gave them too much respect and I just think a lot of my young players just need a bit more mental toughness and resilience but we're new to Division 1 and you know we'll just keep working keep learning yeah great start of the season but we know it's early days we're only three matches in so we can't get ahead of ourselves thinking that it's going to be easy um, we'll take the three games we'll take the three wins and we'll move on to the next game and concentrate on it my problem is um, it's getting a consistent team out every week, Colin. It's, we have a lot of girls working, a couple away this weekend, one in England, one in Liverpool. So there was three key players for me tonight, older players, but more experienced players. Uh, so for me, key every week, we had a really good performance last week. We had a full team out last week against Portadown. So I'm hoping when we play Ballamy Cash at home that we're able to get, it's just getting them out every week. We've had good numbers at training, but it's just getting them out every week and getting the same team. <laughs> So that completes our coverage for week two of the NIWFA 2021 season, but don't forget to make sure to sign up to all of the NIWFA social media to keep up to date with all that's happening around the leagues. On behalf of Soy and myself, thanks for taking the time to watch today's show, and we look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Until then, it's bye for now, but don't forget... Cards get, get football! football.